Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, May 21st. I ended up going to that Korean restaurant again last night. Um, <laughs> it was good. And then just coming home, hanging out. We had a really drastic weather change last night here. It's like 53 degrees. She's loving it though. So we're out for a nice long walk this morning. Hey guys, I'm Megan. I love to travel, but my passion is medicine. I'm a first year medical student. Subscribe to my channel so you can go through the highs and lows of medical school with me. Let's all go on this journey together. So instead of going to boot camp this morning, um, that girl that I met from school who like invited me to brunch and stuff last weekend invited me to a volunteering thing she was doing this morning. So we went to a, a community garden and just helped out for the last couple of hours and met some really nice people. So it was fun. Um, pulled a lot of weeds and just did some projects that they needed done and, um, yeah, it was a nice morning. So I should go work out at some point this, today because I haven't done that yet. But um, it was a really nice way to spend the morning. So still very chilly. It's going to get down into like the 40s tonight. Like it's almost June. I don't, but um, yeah, so I'm going to go eat some lunch and figure out my afternoon. And I will chat with you guys later. Well, hello everyone. It is Thursday, May 26th. I don't think I really vlogged much the last couple of days. I, I really haven't done anything that exciting. Um, today I spent my morning trying to get some stuff together um, for the DMV to get my car registered and get my driver's license here. Um, didn't get it all done. I'm gonna have to work on that tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's kind of a pain to register an out-of-state vehicle in Missouri. Um, they need all these forms and you have to go to the tax assessor's office and get a piece of paper saying you don't owe back taxes and like that took a lot of time. And um, yeah, because then I, I probably could have gotten everything done today, but I had a tattoo appointment this afternoon because um, I wanted to work on the blackberries I got. I wasn't totally happy with the way they came out. Um, you know, I think the guy who tattooed me had laid out a really great design, but was a little light handed and some of the line work had faded. Um, so I went to Goodfellas Tattoo here in Kansas City and was tattooed by Travis and he did a wonderful job, um, bringing that up to my expectations. So all in all a good day. Um, tonight I am going to go, I got tickets to go to a, um, they're kind of like a bluesy, not bluesy, bluegrassy kind of country music band, um, at a bar in like the River Market neighborhood. So I'm going to go see some music and tomorrow will be another DMV adulting day. But, um, yeah, if there's anything worth noting tomorrow, I'll check in with you. Uh, their wives, so we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is Saturday, May 28th. So Thursday night, I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but I went to, I was planning to and did go to a music show um, at a place called Knuckleheads Saloon. <laughs> um, the dogs are making noise. Um, Knucklehead Saloon in Kansas City. That's a venue I think I'm going to have to go back and check out uh, again. It, it was a really nice venue and the band I saw, the Powell Brothers, they were awesome it was they were kind of like bluegrass meets rockabilly meets 
modern country. Um, maybe I described them totally wrong, but uh, I really enjoyed them. Um, yeah, yesterday and Thursday, I was messing around with a bunch of DMV stuff. <sighs> Spoiler alert, my car is still not registered in Missouri because, you know, it's just frustrating dealing with the DMV and the state of Missouri when you're coming from out of state makes you go through an, uh, some extra steps. Uh, one of which is going to the tax assessor's office and getting paperwork saying you don't owe the state of Missouri any money, like no back taxes or back traffic tickets or, um, <laughs> so, you know, gonna, gonna try again Tuesday. Um, cause it is, it is the holiday weekend now and all of that stuff will be closed on Monday. But my friend Erin was kind enough to invite me out to her, uh, lake house at Lake of the Ozarks for the weekend. So I am just outside hanging out on their back deck and I was laughing because, uh, I, I brought my dogs and then there are some other dogs here and they are all, I don't know if you can see, but they are like all lined up against the window and every now and then somebody's like tapping the glass. <laughs> it's like they want to come outside, but I'm just trying to have a moment to myself right now. <laughs> so yeah, the plan is to just relax here and enjoy the weekend with some friends out on the lake. Um, yeah, so I will chat with you guys later. So I'm too lazy to get up, but they've got a nice setup inside. They've got a two level back patio. And then we are right on the lake. Have some stairs that go down right there. They're out on the boat right now. I'll probably jump on when they come back in a little bit. Um, Wednesday, June the 1st. Um, so you saw some clips from Lake of the Ozarks. I didn't vlog that much because there were a lot of other people staying at the lake house that I didn't know very well. And I don't know, I didn't want to be that weirdo, like <laughs> filming everything and talking to myself all weekend. So um, but yeah, we, we had such a nice weekend. We went out on the boat several times. Um, I didn't film it, but we went out on kayaks one afternoon and kayaked around some um, coves there. Cooked a lot of food and just, yeah, had a really nice weekend. I met a lot of nice people and I can't wait to go back. Uh, I'm, it's awesome that my friend and her husband were able to get this place and um, really appreciate their generosity for inviting everyone out. and. Um, yeah, so it, it was, it was needed. I've been, I mean, I'm sure you could probably tell, I don't know, I've been a little lonely and just kind of down and off since I've been in Kansas City. It's just, you know, spending a lot of time alone and just dealing with some frustrating things about moving. Like, I, it took me several days of trying to get things done at the DMV to get my vehicle registered and get my driver's license here, but I got it all done. You know, it's just, 
I needed this weekend pick me up. It was nice. Um, yeah, so this morning I've just been taking it slow, having my coffee, had some breakfast a little bit ago, working on some YouTubes right now. And Callie has a vet appointment a little later today. I could go to the grocery store. I should probably go to the gym. <laughs> Not a terribly exciting day, but uh, you know, if anything's worth checking in, I'll let you guys know. Hello everyone. I don't even know what day it is. Uh, hang on. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, June 2nd. Um, just got done with a run and a workout at the park and it was really pretty today. I hadn't been here in probably a week and a half. Um, the same park I've been going to to run at they have some rose gardens, which I heard were really pretty, but they like all bloomed overnight <laughs> and there were, are just roses everywhere and it was gorgeous. So I took like a little bit of footage for you guys. Um, yeah, so felt good to run. I kind of was in a, I don't know, just a down headspace for like the last week and a half and just made excuses to not work out, didn't eat like I should have you know, sleeping too much, drank a little more than I normally would, just did all the wrong things to like help get me out of a bad mental health space. So today was a better day. I'm going to try and um, get back to consistent workouts. And um, I actually signed up for a 5k at the end of July, I believe it's July 30th, and it's like one of the glow-in-the-dark foam runs. Um, so I'm, yeah, I need to like run and like train a little bit. <laughs> it's only like a little over three miles, but still, um, I have not been consistent with working out lately. So I'm hoping that having this foam run coming up soon will kind of give me some motivation to do that and yeah so we'll go home and feed the dogs need some dinner and i will check in with you guys later oh i did go get an instant pot because i donated my rice cooker i just didn't have room for it when i was moving out of the camper to kansas city and i am terrible at cooking rice on the stove it's insanely bad when I try to cook rice on the stove. I've done it like three times. I cannot get it right. <laughs> so I just broke down and got an instant pot so that I can have a rice cooker again and plus use it for all kinds of other things. So yeah, maybe I'll do some experimenting with the instant pot soon, but yeah, I will check in with you guys later. Well, if that isn't one of the best rainbows I've seen in a while, Well guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here for now. Uh, see you in a couple of days and we'll keep having some fun around Kansas City before school gets started. <laughs>